Hey everybody, Brian here. So there's a feature on lots of cars, uh, Hyundai have it. So it is adaptive cruise control with low speed follow. The adaptive cruise control thing is not an incredibly new feature, but um, low speed follow is kind of something that's more prevalent in the last couple of years. But what I found is a lot of people, you tell them it's on the car and they say, oh yeah, yeah that's fine. And then when they go to pick up the car, you just you're going through stuff and they ask you about it, which means, I think what they mean is they've heard about it before, but they actually haven't figured out how to use it. So adaptive, oh sorry, okay, let's talk cruise control. Cruise control means you're driving along a road, you have a desired speed, for example, you want to do 100 kilometers an hour, you take your foot off the pedal, you engage the cruise control, and the car will maintain that speed for you without your foot touching the pedal. If you want to finish up, you just literally brake, or in a manual car, you would clutch, and that'll be the end of the cruise control cycle. So the whole thing with adaptive cruise control then, it's responding to the environment that's around it, especially I suppose the cars that are in front of the car. So if you're in a normal driving uh, condition, doesn't matter what speed you're at, uh, what you can do is you go in and you set the cruise control. So hit the button here to make it available and set it. But down here at the bottom, crucially, see this button here? In this Hyundai Ionic 5, there's like four settings of set distances that you can ask the car to stay behind the car in front. So if that car in front starts to slow down as you come into like a town or even on a motorway, even if it's slowed down, your car is going to automatically respond and slow down. As, as like, here's the thing, as you come to a fault, this is the low speed follow part. In traffic here, doing 10 or 15 kilometers an hour, I'm not touching the brake pedal. Literally, I am not touching the brake pedal and the car has the ability to follow the car in front. And if they come to a stop, your car will also come to a stop all by itself without you touching the brake pedal. One thing, however, once you've come to a complete stop, uh, the adaptive or low speed follow is disabled. And what you'll need to do at that point is you need to touch the accelerator just to allow the car to move on again. But then you can reset the adaptive cruise control to follow that car in front again. So anyway, hopefully that gives you a better idea of what cruise control is, uh, well more, sorry, specifically adaptive cruise control, and also what the low speed follow function is. If there's any information I can help with, please do give me a shout. But Brian here from Fitzpatrick's, thanks a million for watching.